backward leg lift. Simply follow your trainer. She'll take you step by step through each exercise. Remember, talk to your healthcare provider before starting or changing any exercise program. You can pause or stop the video at any time. Stop exercising and call your healthcare provider if you feel muscle, bone, or joint pain, chest pain or tightness, lightheadedness, or shortness of breath. Before you begin, warm up cold muscles by marching in place briskly for three to five minutes. With backward leg lifts, you slowly move a leg back and forth, but it's the leg you're not moving that's getting the workout. That's because the muscles around the knee of your standing leg are working to maintain your balance. Here's how to do backward leg lifts. Let's start with working the right leg. Hold on to a sturdy table, countertop, or chair. Tighten the muscles in your right leg, including the buttock muscles in the front of the thigh. Keeping the right leg muscles tight, slowly move your left leg backward to a count of four, lifting your foot just a few inches off the floor. Then move the foot forward towards your starting position. You can let your foot hover slightly above the floor at the starting position or you can let it touch the floor if that helps you feel more steady. It's important to keep your back straight throughout this exercise. Don't arch your back or bend backward. When you switch legs, you'll keep your left leg in the standing position with muscles tight while moving your right leg. You and your on-screen trainer will do two sets of each exercise with eight reps in each set. Try adding an extra set if you want more of a challenge. We're going to start with two sets of backward leg lifts. Start with the right leg in the standing position with muscles tightened and lift your left leg backward. Begin. One. Two. Three. This exercise strengthens the knee of the standing leg because you are stabilizing the knee by engaging the different muscles that support it. Five. You're halfway through this set. Keep moving. Six. This exercise can also help if you have osteoarthritis pain in your hips. Seven. Eight. And stop. Now let's switch legs. Keep your left leg in the standing position and muscles tight while moving your right leg. Begin. One. Two. Three. Remember to keep your buttock and thigh muscles in your standing leg tightened. Four. Five. You're halfway through this set. Keep going. Six. Remember to keep your back straight and upright at all times. Seven. Eight. Now stop. Great job. That's one set completed. Let's rest for a moment. Let's move on to set two, the last set for this exercise. Begin. One. Two. Three. Are you keeping the buttock and thigh muscles in your standing leg tight? Four. Five. Halfway through the set. Six. Remember that this exercise strengthens the knee of the standing leg because you are stabilizing the knee by engaging the different muscles that support it. Eight. And stop. Switch to the left leg. Begin. One. Two. Three. 
2. Three. Keep your back straight and upright at all times. Four. Five. You're almost done. Just four more to go. Six. Seven. Eight. And stop. Fantastic. Let's rest. 